Storm Chiara just left. Storm Dennis is here. But that is not gonna stop us from seeing the Brussels Lights Festival. <laughs> Bright Brussels is a festival of light and sound. Last year, in 2020, 20 light installations from Belgian and foreign artists sparkled the capital of Belgium. It was an outdoor event accessible to everyone. As you can see in this map, as long as you follow the arrows, you will see all the installations the festival has to offer. This is the path we took. Yellow is day one and green is day two. As you can see, we got a bit lost there for a second or two. You may wonder, is there an easy way to follow this map? Yes, there is! The city covered the lanterns on the trail with a red cloth or paper, so all we had to do was to follow the red lights. Of course, at certain places, especially when the installations were close to each other, following this trail was a little confusing and you may take the wrong turn. Fear not, Google Maps is only one click away. Despite the storm, the rain and the cold, no less than 400,000 people attended the festival last year. It ran from the center of the city, which was obviously the most crowded, to Marolen, Zavel, the Koningsweg and Hallepoort. Thanks to the doubling of the length of the trail, visitors were able to go from one work to another smoothly. Each installation offers a perfect blend of sound and light. I didn't attach the original audio to these videos because the sound of the wind was too overwhelming. Due to the bad weather, some installations had to be cancelled, while others were modified to fit the condition. I think we managed to find and enjoy all open installations in two nights. My personal favorites were Whale Ghost, Trapped and Ping. It was very unfortunate that Les Luminaux couldn't perform due to the strong winds. That one would have been breathtaking. Anyway, fingers crossed that Bright Brussels can run again in fall this year. If it does, try to come! <laughs> <laughs>